Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how you can set up the timeline for your Gantt chart. I'm currently in the daily view, and as you can see, the timeline is shown from 1st July to 31st July. But my project begins on 14th July 2020 and ends on 17th August 2020. So let's go ahead and set up the timeline correctly so that all the Gantt bars reflect within the timeline. Click the Setup Timeline button in the Gantt menu. The Setup Timeline form opens up. I'm going to change the start date to 13th July and the end date to 22nd August. Click the Update Timeline button when done. Brilliant! The timeline instantly updates and shows all the dates from 13th August to 22nd August. Also, the entire project's Gantt bar show up within the timeline. We have seven calendar views in Gantt Excel, and each of them will use the same start and end dates to draw the timeline. For example, in this daily view, I can see dates that belong from week 29 to week 34. So if I click on the weekly view, I will see week 29 to week 34 as well. To demonstrate the other views, let me quickly increase the duration of these tasks to a much bigger number. Larger projects, like, for example, constructing a dam across a river, will take months and years to complete. I'm going to make a selection of the duration for all tasks and change the duration to 200 days. Hitting the Control plus Enter key will update all the selected cells. Please ignore the milestone duration warnings for now. As you can now see, the start date of our project is in July 2020, and the project finishes in August 2023. This would make it a three-year project. Now let's take a quick look at each view. We have the weekly view. We use the standard ISO weeks to calculate the week number. The monthly view. When your project spans many months, it makes sense to view your project in the monthly view. The quarterly view. The half-yearly view. And finally, the yearly view. You can also increase the column size for each calendar view. So I'm going to click on the Setup Timeline button and set the yearly view to size 25. The timeline column size updates instantly. Let me show you a few more interesting timeline options that will help you. I'm going to switch back to the daily view. You can uncheck the Show Timeline checkbox in the Gantt menu to hide the timeline, should you have the need to do so. This will completely hide the timeline. Let's switch this back on. You can uncheck the Refresh Timeline checkbox, and this will stop or pause the timeline from refreshing. This is very helpful when you have over 1,000 tasks and the timeline takes time to update when you add new tasks. Let me turn this on again. You can switch to different periods of the timeline by clicking these buttons. Scroll to Start will take you to the beginning of your project. The Scroll to Today button will show you the timeline starting around today, I mean the current date. The Scroll to End button will show you the calendar view around the end of your project. Let's end this video by exploring a few more settings for the timeline. Click on the Settings button in the Gantt menu. You can change the colors of the calendar section by clicking on these square color cells. All these options on the right are also related to the timeline, and you can turn them on or turn them off anytime you want to. So that's it for this video. I hope this tutorial will help you create an impressive timeline for your project. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or feature requests, please share them in the comments below. Kindly like and share this video. Also, Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.